Hello, good evening. Welcome students, welcome to the class. Are you ready? Hello, hello. Hi teacher, good evening. Hi, good evening and welcome. How are you? So far so good. Okay, thank you so much, Edwin. So welcome. Um, also we have Sufrido, Ricardo and Carlos Ernesto. Welcome guys uh, also for being here on time. As we always, you know, have this time to, you know, work and practice English. That is a good way to maximize your skills. And always, as I always say, you know, you have to be motivated, encouraged to do a great job and also work a lot and show that we are a good, you know, good speakers and also a great knowledge about the language. So we're going to start. And also we introduce a, a different um, unit that is actually the unit number three after studying for two weeks, the unit number two. And we have two weeks away to finish our uh, English class. You know, time goes so fast that during this time we have learned a lot. Also, I have done that too. You know, also practiced in uh, English. And that is the, something interesting, right? To learn and, you know, work a lot because I say that, that we, every day we focus about learning something specifically. And when we do that, we become successful. And that is one of the ways. We have to show confidence, passion, and love for learning. And that's uh, over the whole. So I just want to, you know, to introduce this unit. And I will show you here the topic for this class. Also, we're talking about this, the new video conference. And we have, uh, a new um, topic for new different topics. And at the same time, we have, uh, well, some students are joining right now. So let's welcome all of them to, to stay here. And we see that. Okay, yeah, more students are joining. Let me accept them to the group, to the meeting. And we talk about this a new unit. So I hope that we can uh, enjoy a lot. We can enjoy a lot this class and also practice, practice, practice. That's uh, something necessary. As, as, um, as an English teacher, so I can tell you that we had to be very patient and also uh, try to, you know, concentrate on efforts about that. So today we're going to talk uh, a different uh, topic and the topic is related to millennials. Have you heard the term millennials? Um, students, have you heard about the term millennials? What's the call? Yes, teacher, it's the new generation. It's the new generation, right? The millennials. And people talk about them all the time. And it's like, you know what? This new generation of millennials. And we can, we can be surprised about what we experienced in the past. And also these new generations are living or are happening. Perhaps there are some differences between the past and also the present. What we used to have in the past and what nowadays they have about technology and the similar changes about the culture, about the philosophy, some important things that perhaps we can um, discuss about uh, millennials and everything. So we introduced this, um, this unit talking about millennials. So we'll, we'll read some articles that are related to that. And also we'll learn about that. Some, some people, teenagers, some people, they, they have seen uh, different things related to millennials and, and everything. So that's why this is very, it's very necessary to know about it, how, about some specific characteristics. And also this is what I want to share with you guys right now. Let's see, just give me one second because my, I don't know, perhaps the internet is like a little slow. That's weird, perhaps the connection or the signal is like no so stable. You know, we experience some situations like that sometimes, depending how the weather is, because of the winds, the antennas. So 
could be a little bit more challenging in that case. One second, because that's very slow. You know, that is so bad with that. Okay, one second. Okay, I would like to ask you, uh, can you see my presentation or not? For the no, moment, yet. not a chair, not a chair. Okay, thank not you. Good. Let me see something here. I'm surprised with that. One second. Okay, so do you, you, do you know, well, so, I know that there are some students that are they are uh, kind of millennials, and also this generation it uh, has a lot of challenges, and also situations related to technology. I would like to ask you guys: Are you addicted to technology? I would like to ask you, being honest, you had a freedom to talk, so it's a a personal question. Um, do you consider addicted to technology? Yes. 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 So that's mean that you cannot you cannot stay without being connected with technology. For example, in staying a day without watching watching television or using the computer or using your cell phone. So tell us about your experience that you consider addicted to technology. How is that possible? Uh, do you listen to me? Yes, you should. <laughs> okay. Somebody said that was addicted. So I want to know why uh, you're addicted, why you consider addicted. I think that in my personal opinion, that I'm not addicted to my cell phone because all of them, <laughs> the emails and WhatsApp groups and, and chats, all of them is in my cell phone now. I think that this is... This is the way that you can be addicted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that then it happens, you know, that we're kind of addicted to technology. And sometimes the, perhaps we're not addicted at all, but there are some things that, you know, technology makes life easier. Technology can make things easier and also manage manageable for, for people nowadays. So everything, the information, you have also some networks that can look for some valuable, valuable information in a short time. So things that are that perhaps in the past could take too much time, but now technology makes things much better. Okay, so we're gonna start and also we're going to read the, the goals for this uh, class. Who wants to help me to read this goal? You can see that. Yes, a volunteer to read it. Me to chair? Yes, thank you. Okay. I will be able to provide tips for managers to lead millennials effectively. Okay, look at it. Look at the, the the topic, right? To provide tips for managers to lead millennials effectively. So that's that what does it mean? What does it mean? That perhaps we have in our companies, we have young people that they are, they have different um, thoughts, they have different ideas, that sometimes innovation, sometimes challenging, but you know, we focus about that. So we have young people here in this class. So you perhaps you can feel identified about that. So to have, uh, you know, colleagues that are very young and colleagues that are older. And that's one of the ways in which we're going to be discussing here today. Provide tips for managers to lead millennials effectively. How to deal with them, how to interact with this new generation of workers, and also how to, you know, treat, uh, treat with them, how to deal with them. So try to, you know, work on that. So that's why managers are focused about employees, that no matter what age they are. And also they try to, you know, combine different ideas and things in order that everybody work in harmony that is one of the things okay so let me show you the next slide 
And look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this. There are different questions we're going to socialize today in a class. And we're going to ask two. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Uh, Sifrido, could you help us to read the questions, please? Okay. Have you heard the term millennial? What does it mean? Are you a millennial? Why is it is important to know how to manage and lead this group of employees? Are there members of other generation, by example, baby boomer, generation X, and your workplace? Okay, thank you so much. This is a, well, they have different questions that perhaps we have here to know about millennials. And also I want you to take a short time to think about what possible um, answers we can also take about that. Uh, what, somebody was saying something? No? Hello? Uh, somebody has the microphone activated. No? Okay, I, I thought that somebody was, was going to say something important. And also congratulations because you have the camera on, that's good. I can see most of you now active in the class. Remember that this is the third unit. So, well, the time actually has gone so fast that in two, two weeks, we finished this level. Incredible, time is going so fast. Okay, now we're gonna take a short time to think about some possible answers because we're gonna work in small groups. And you will, uh, after you have written or responded the following questions that you have right there, we're going to socialize with your partners the following questions. Try to be brief, try to explain in the most valuable points about that part. And then you talk. That's what I love from that. Have you heard the term millennial as, as I asked you at the beginning? So if you don't know what was the real meaning about that, you can also investigate on the, in, the, in the media. So you can also check this part. Um, what does it mean? But, but, but what is millennial in, in itself? So how can you explain that? So you can also discuss with your partners about that. Are you a millennial uh, according to your ages to investigate the, the, the specific the years? How old you should be uh, to be a millennial? Uh, you have to be like 18, 19, 20. You have to investigate that. And then you can also discuss with your um, partners about that. And this is the next question is about the importance of um, how to deal with this uh, generation of, of millennials. Um, do we have to give them instructions like we used to have in the past, especially for those who are older? And um, we have to treat them in the, in similar to the rest of the people from different ages, or we, we have to know a little bit more about millennials in order to work with them and also to try to be more proficient or take advantage of their ages in order to work in a company. So we can also evaluate uh, those kind of things. What else we can also discuss? Are there uh, members of other generations that depending on the ages? So you can also ask, um, well, for example, you know, depending on the ages, you can ask uh, what ages and also in base of that, so you can also know about that, for example, the baby boomers is another very recognized generation. The famous baby boomers, or for example, the Gene X uh, in the workplace, depending on the ages, and also millennials. So in, in your groups, you can also can evaluate the ages and think about that, right? That is, that is the, the same point of this. So I will give you a couple of minutes. We're talking about four minutes to think about those questions. And then we're going to work in the breakup rooms and we will discuss about these ages. Do you know in what generations you are according to your ages? That would be a good question. Yes, teacher. I think that in my case, I think general X. Ah, okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's uh, that's good to know, right? And also, you can also discuss with your partners about in what generations you are right now. Okay.
Okay, well, don't forget that if you have questions or doubts, you have freedom to ask and I can help you. Okay, students, are you ready? I've lost the call. Are you ready, students? Um, are you ready? No yet, teacher. Okay.
Okay, what about now? So are you ready now? Very, very basic questions that perhaps we're gonna take a short time. So what we have to do is we're gonna be working in the small groups and you can share um, what you know about these questions related to millennials and also some ideas about you know how to uh, deal with um, millennials, especially if you will consider that you are in this generation. This is um, something else we're gonna take. So let's see, we're at 19 right now. So we're gonna make small groups and of this one. So please be ready and look at your screen and you accept the invitation. Okay, for those who are here, look at your screen because, and we have the, we are sending the groups to socialize the questions related to millennials. So I want you to be careful in that way and um, try to join the groups and the star socializes because I have seen some students that are not here in, in the breakup rooms. So let's see who we don't, we have here. I don't see, well, uh, Jorge, do you see the invitation? Jorge? And we still have Rafael, uh, Ricardo, and Carlos Domingos. Um, hi, teacher, in my case, um, well, uh, as I wanted to say it before, but um, uh, my work schedule is from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. So I'm still working and sometimes it's very hard to me for, to practice um, with my teammates, my classmates. So um, that's why I will not join into the break room, break room, break. In in all in all classes, you will be like that, or only for some situations, or sometimes, depending on the job. Well, actually, depending on the job, for now it's a little, um, um, how to say it. Right now, I'm very busy, but maybe like um uh, Wednesdays or Fridays, that's when I'm a little free. So maybe. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, that's are the days that my work gets a little hard, actually. Okay, I understand that. Okay, thank you. Teacher, can you share the screenshot, please? The screen? Yeah. Oh, re re don't forget that we, we send the presentation to the to the WhatsApp groups. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, sorry. You can look for there. Yeah, I got it. Okay, sure. what Chance else? Millenniums. What does it mean? I remember this, uh, like one, anyone born between the 1981 and 1996. Now, how is the yeah. millennial are born where uh, in 1980s to 1993. Uh, I look in the term in Google and I found the following term uh, meaning. 
this term is used to refer the people born between 1981 and 1996. Now these people have a 21st and 39th. So we we're talking yes. about 19 until 1996. No. 1990. Yes. Okay, 81 to 96. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay, thanks. Okay, it's my, it's my generation. <laughs> yes, I, I am uh, a part of that too. I don't know. What generation is that? What generation is that? Uh, generation millennial, Y. Uh, y, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I think we both the three or or the three are millennial, right? <laughs> <laughs> In my case, yeah, I I learned uh, I learned that <laughs> right now. <laughs> are you a millennial? Yes. In my case, yes, I am. <laughs> yes. In my case, me too. Yes, in my case, too. Okay. Uh, the one, two, three, four. Why is important uh, to know how to manage lead this group of employees? Uh, I think because they have a big potential. Uh, because they... The millennial is the first generation that had contact with the technology. So they have like a dominion, a high dominion, just for being the first generation to contact with, with the new things, more experience. Okay, these kind of employees are different because the environment eh, in which they are prized, I'm not sure if the term are correct, is different. Eh, you said the technology, eh, before before uh, they have the uh, this generation uh, the people or the culture are other they were the socialists the capitalists i'm not sure the the pronunciation uh, but the culture is the culture was uh, other and then this generation appears and the technology appears uh, with with they and and they believe they believe in other things or they they believe that they are god maybe <laughs> i don't know it's different it's different, yeah, yeah. I think. Um, yes, yes, for example, in, in hospital, uh, uh, the result, result the test, and is a, a computer, a lab, a laptop, and table, tablet. Yes, yeah. they use a lot yeah. of technology, yeah, or device. Yeah, they use a lot of device. Yes, I also feel yeah. the, the generation is not uh, is not use uh, library. It's not all in internet. Exactly. Hmm. San yeah. Google. <laughs> <laughs> San Google. <laughs> <laughs> because it's important to uh, define the, the generation C. This is the more technology than millennials. And the millennial is uh, the generation intermediate, the 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 still the technology. 
because the generation C is more technology. This is a social media in the TikTok, for example, in this moment, um, Instagram, for example. In this moment, for me, this is, is different the generation millennials. Yes, I agree with you. And Carlos, uh, he said that this is they are all the the they are thing that all in internet or in Google or yeah, they believe in the the in the website in the in the technology that. But maybe it's true or maybe it's false. I don't know because all kind of of the information that you can find in the web is is not true. All I think that you have to investigate more yeah. than than say Google or I don't know or YouTube. <laughs> yes, the generation yeah. X is necessary adapter. The different generation in millennial and C. For example, uh, uh, now uh, the younger uh, they play uh, for internet. For example, uh, they they play uh, two term terminals. Uh, one terminal in Panama, for example, the other terminals are here in Salvador. Two two youngers. Uh, the place, um, I don't know, Doom or uh, other other place, many places. Yes. Brand. Yes. The the next generation, uh, for example, uh, electronic advance, for example, electronic cars, robots. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, are you talking about yeah. the generation S? Uh, yeah, C. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The new generation that, yeah, imagine in robot and, and intelligence or technology with intelligence or. Hmm. Exactly. Okay. The what is it? The Sorry? The first, the first country in advance, uh, United States and and China. In China, no. yes, <laughs> yes, China or maybe U.S. or Europe. I don't know. Maybe England. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, what is important to know how to manage lead this group of employees? Hmm. In my opinion, my opinion. Mm -hmm. Your personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, it's important because uh, uh, this generation, uh, they can use technology the 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 same the same time for example the laptop cell phone computer tablet the same time a the other software but uh, to uh, they uh, it, it's very important very important to to know uh, this this generation about this this generation because uh, how you told us uh, that there are difference about the the things that motive that Even. give motivation for yeah. example in in my job uh, in a production plan we have we have every person the people join the uh, every person of the force work is is between 20 and 27 Ten years, years. 20, uh -huh. 20, 20, 20 and 27 years very young yes. we we don't have, we don't we don't have many people old like me <laughs> yes, yes but, but, but I, I, 
I don't know, but I, I think that the, the different head of the department uh, has uh, 35 and 40 or or uh, uh, 50 years. Yes, yes. Okay. There, there, there is, uh, there is, uh, uh, there is uh, things I I identify in about what thing prefers the generation X, X and generation uh, millennial. For example, uh, gener uh, generation generation millennial prefer free time. Yes, the 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 Friday. This uh, this generation don't work more. Yes, uh, or don't work overtime. Don't prefer overtime. But the other generation X, for example, uh, prefer work uh, two or three hours more because they can win more money. And yes, I think in the, that in, in the other in the other things that in for, for example in your family is very important if you uh, have a lot of money. Yes. Yes. But the yes. young people uh, think for the free time. Free time. Uh, the party because, time for the yes, free. Because the, because yes. the Friday, the the there is there is some very important to know uh, the 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 line the line uh, the people of the night uh, ask me hey 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 boss uh, the the Friday can can finish a uh, uh, middle uh, the the middle day. Ah, depends if you if you achieve the the, the goal, no problem. Ah, okay. Uh, you, uh, they, uh, ¿cómo es? Trabajan más rápido, work more fast. Yes. Yeah, because they, they have a lot of energy. Faster. Yes. Faster. Yes, they work faster. And uh, listen me. And they and uh, they have a good communication with all all uh, coworkers. Uh, in in all co workers uh middle day finish finish uh, the uh, the job because they comply the 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 goal and everybody go to 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 the restaurant uh uh, uh restaurant and, <laughs> and party right they 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 go, they go, uh, go to to dance yes they they, they have a um, a lot of energy Yes. yes. In my case, I prefer. Uh, it is good to me uh, finish the day uh, early, but I but I prefer uh, or go my home and take a cup of coffee and take a rest, say, uh, watch a, <laughs> a movie. Uh, there are many things different. Different activity. For example, uh, one day the beach, uh, the person in the office uh, enjoy uh, this uh, this day in job uh, have the the for the the best in in the the beach. For example, in 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 uh, ensure the tip tip uh, tip uh, beach in shore. Uh, mm -hmm. Other days, uh, it, uh, activity in the day or the other activities more not uh, no whole person in the office participate the activity because it's different for the the, the mean in the different generation because adapter the generation uh, millennials and and generation c and this morning in, in the store is necessary adapter adapter the, the situation uh, for example, we use the cell phone, uh, use the uh, platform the the media, social media, com, uh, for example, the uh, TikTok. These are more used than <laughs> the generation six. Um, in my case, I don't like you the TikTok because it <laughs> is <laughs> respect the respect the 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 the, 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 mil, the generation because in the in social media and in the marketing is important. It's the for the, the salary. Yeah, it's the pen of the department. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. In this case it's necessary adapter the different the different for the the social media in the person. 
Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yes, it's complicated. I agree with you because, yeah, of course, if you have in a company in the in marketing department, they change and imagine that the pandemic, they accelerate that the, the ways to work now exactly. because you can you can work from home or you can work in an office, but the office, they change the mind because, because the pandemic, I think that accelerate that the that the use of technology and millennials use the technology very well. Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. But it's important that you have to integrate with the old school, I think. You have yeah. to yeah. A mix. Yes, this boom in the technology, the pandemic is, is um, I don't know, empuje. Uh, this job, uh, the front house, yeah, half time or, com or uh, complete. Hmm. Yeah, it's necessary in the company, in the marketing, uh, e-commerce is advanced the technology. In this moment, it's important that department, uh, in, for example, in my case, in my job, in my company, the situation that the COVID uh, obligate the create the department the the e commerce exact exactly e commerce uh, and uh, before the 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 COVID no exactly that the department uh, marketing in the base in the web and in this moment uh, more person in the department is very 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 big the group. Right, mm -hmm. it is, it is the, for the the sales marketing digi digital is is complement the the sales in the in the store physical in the electronic. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the the new spirit and 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 network and the marketing and different store. Uh, uh, the the bill is uh, electronic. Uh, for example, uh, the billy uh, and consumers uh, are electronic and, and Gmail uh, update the update the the, day, the personal date. Uh, it's very important. Uh, it's very important uh, update and and different situation and and digital advance and and different marketing. Uh, yeah, applicate and different work on jobs. Yes, totally agree. Okay, students, we we'll, we'll are back after having a great conversation, talking about different questions related to millennials and also the meaning and the important to to manage, you know, the you know, uh, millennials. And uh, I just want to know, um, well, I know I know that some of you are millennials, 
And also I could listen about the ages that correspond to millennials. And it is a good generation, obviously. And also people who are very responsible to work and also uh, with different skills, the combination of technology. One of the things that we were discussing in the um, in the last you know in the conversation so um i would like to ask if somebody can help me to respond to these questions i will be more than glad to help you with that so why is is it important to know how to manage or lead this group of employees who wants to um, participate about these questions because you responded in the groups and you gave very valuable information about that. But now that we are here, all of us in, you know, in breakout rooms, who wants to tell me, I mean, why it's important, you know, to know how to manage, you know, this group of employees, who would like to help me with that? A volunteer, please. Yeah. Well, teacher, I believe in uh, the most important note to manage the group is increases the true and searchers everyone. I mean, when you manage the correct way uh, the group, uh, they feel on the better support and enhance for results of the of the group, I believe. Okay, thank you so much, Emerson, for your comment about that. And I really appreciate it. And someone else would like to um, give us an opinion or any idea related to the questions that you socialized. How, uh, why is it important to know how to manage these groups of employees? Any other volunteer? Uh, me, teacher. Yes, thank you. Uh, I think if you you know how to manage uh, this kind of person, you can take advantage of all the potential that they have. But uh, if you if you don't do it uh, on the best way the character that they have is difficult to to manage uh, maybe the way that you would like to they move so you have to be intelligent when try this kind of people to get uh, the best result that you need Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, definitely that there are, you know, this generation, they are very skillful, especially with technology, combination technology with different ideas. And also you can learn a lot from that one. So congratulations to everyone because that's one of the, the most valuable points to socialize about this topic related to millennials because we will be reading some articles that we will know a little bit about that. There is also a quiz about millennials. I know that some of you are under those ages, to be part of the millennials, but there are some other generations that we know. And that is um, something very, very um, interesting to discuss about that. So we're going to share the following activity. So just give me one moment, please. And I'm going to share with you this. One second, please. Teacher, I, I want to give my opinion. Of course, go ahead, thank you. I share, I share opinion. Yes. Uh, I, I think, I think the, the it's in, it's important for a company to to meet a uh, what for workforce workforce uh, is mil millennial or or uh, general generation X because uh, we need to know what things uh, uh, are motivated motivated motivate for a different generation. Yes, uh, depend that uh, the company can implement the strategy to following. The, the, yeah, the strategy. Yes, the strategy, strategy to follow. Yes, exactly. So we need to know 
in in a way we need to know people we need to know the the way hey they um develop their skills what positive things we can also find from that i mean it's not just a simple a manager or a manager who is in charge of groups they need to know every customer they need to know also the employees too especially if we're talking about business they need to know the customers what the customers need but before customers they need to know employees they need to know the people that they are in charge because they also can know about that it is necessary to to think about the way they work the motivations they have the way how we can uh, manage different points so it is it is necessary to know the employees so that's why we were saying in the last uh, class that uh, to be a manager is not easy. It's, it's a challenge because you deal with people from different ages. You have to combine their skills. You have to combine their commitment, their work, the rhythm of work, the, the skills that they possess in order to work and do a great job in different things related to the development of the work. So that's why it is not so simple. That's why we need to know about the generations. We know about generations X, also the, the generation C. So we know about that. And at the same time, it's, it's like, it's a strategy to know the people that you work with. It is always necessary to know. And, uh, and at the same time, you can be more productive with your team because you understand each other, no matter what ages. And at the same time, th there is another thing that maybe it's important to, to talk about is that there are some um, managers that they are connected with all people. They make people from different ages work. And also they, they create a family inside the company or inside the department. And they uh, become familiar and they socialize and they work together and they motivate each other to, to have the, the best results or better commitment in that way. So that's why it's very necessary to, to know how to deal or to manage the people from different ages. Okay, so we're gonna take a short time to check the attendance list. So if you allow me one moment, I'm going to check the attendance list and uh, I will ask you, I will ask your names and you say present. Just give me a brief moment. Okay, let's see here. Let me check. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present, teacher. Um, Emerson Ulises. Thanks. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Jose Salvador Bernal. Here I am. Josman uh, Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Nelson Alberto Peraza. 
present. Eh, Os Osman Enrique Hernández. Present, teacher. Thanks. Eh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present, teacher. Eh, Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present, teacher. Eh, Sifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present. Eh, Wendy Marcela Ramírez. Wendy. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Thanks. Eh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present, teacher. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, let's continue with the class. And we have a new vocabulary related to the topics that we are developing. Go online, look at the following exercise that we have here. So we have to go online and find out more about the key terms in this lesson. So we have millennials, what's the real uh, meaning? And also self-entitled, um, self-centered, and a willingful ignorant. Willingfully ignorant. So look at these terms and I'll give you um, four minutes to check. And in the class, we will analyze each one, what, we, what you found, or how can you interpret this, the following uh, ter key terms. So let's start checking and then we will uh, uh, give our opinions about this plenary. And we will talk a little bit about the advantages about millennials, what positive things we can also reach from millennials in what we know about self-centered and willful ignorance. So we're gonna be discussing that, okay? Let's start now and I'll give you a couple of minutes.
Okay, almost ready, or you're still looking for the vocabulary? Hey, Carlos Ernesto? No, yet. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, are you ready now? Yes? Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, let's socialize right now. You know, the following terms. All right, so we're going to be uh, socializing the following uh, terms about millennials. Who wants to break the ice and express, you know, 
what do you know about millennials in a formal way? Because we know in a formal way the, or, you know, in a, in a good term, what do you know about this generation? Who wants to break the ice? About the concept teacher, uh, millennial. Yes. Uh, is a person who was born between around 1981 and 1996. Millennials have grown, grown, grown with the internet, internet and can't imagine a world. I don't know this concept. <laughs> I, cop I copy this concept. Hey. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, someone else have a similar or perhaps something else that you would like to add to this term about millennials? I want to add something else. Uh, this generation is also yeah. called Generation Y. Okay. Okay, someone else would like to add something about millennials? Me, teacher, can I? Yes, of course. I found that millennials, a person born between early 80s and, and the late 90s, a member of generation A, why? Millennials who were born into a technology world and came of age in a new millennium. They also were old enough to experience and comprehend. This generation has witnessed technological world growth and development. As a result, they are considered more progressive, creative, and far thinking than early generations, earlier, earlier generations. Thank you so much. This is very interesting. And also you were talking about ages between 80s and 90s. Um, specifically is defined like uh between 1990, 81 to 1996, like an estimate, right? Uh what advantages or what um advantages do millennials have? What can you tell me about it? What advantages do, do millennials have, especially when we're talking about about the area of employment, about work, because we're talking about that. What advantages do millennials have in, in, in jobs? In my opinion, teacher, the use of technology, they are flexible with the schedule because they use, uh, they can work uh from the from home or from other place because they use very well the technology i think that this is the the most important that millennium have that use of technology okay and they, yes and and the shame and they shame the the way to communicate because they use a lot of emails or uh uh, using the the technology is is the 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 other way that you you can communicate with the the other person in another country and other and the same country or in a, in another country as well. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for that. And the next question is, what do you find about self-entitled? So what can you uh, find about this one? It's a very interesting uh, to know about this. Who wants to help me to talk about a uh, self-entitled person? What 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 is that? What do you find about this? Yes. Any volunteer? Uh 
uh, self-entitled is a state of mind where someone believes they deserve more than they do. I, I found that. Okay, you said something interesting uh, about self-entitled. It's very interesting to discuss about that. Well, let's see if someone else uh, have a similar um, idea about this um, key terms, and then we, I make a summary about that. Who wants to, who wants to do wants to say that? I want to add something else. Yes, uh, a person believe that they deserve privilege or recognition for things that they did not earn. Thank you so much. Someone else, someone else can uh, give me an idea about that. Uh, we have two students who participated. There are some others that I don't listen to you talking in the class. So this is a good chance to socialize. Uh, what about that one? Someone else who would like to give us some, some other details or your personal description about this key term? Me, teacher? Okay. Yes, yeah, of course. Thank you, Emerson. Well, according to the web, I found in the, this description, this say, believing in oneself to be inherently deserving or the privilege of the special treatment for the who person who are you are. Okay, thank you so much. So we can also summarize the um, according to about this self, this is the person thinks about themselves. If they are successful, they should that should be for them. They don't focus about some others. I mean, the others are important, but they what they concentrate about getting or reaching their goals, no matter what things happen for the rest of the team. In comparison to other people that they think about a team and they beneficiate everybody. So this self-absorbed view of the world, you know, like they don't empathize as much as it should be because they consider that they deserve more than others. They deserve to, to get more things than others, more beneficial than others. That is what we know about self entitlement. And we can find people like that in our jobs and people that always, they try to be the number one. They don't focus about others. They focus about themselves. And we had to be a little bit careful about that. Great job for this. Okay, let's continue with the next um, self-centered. Look at this one, self-centered. Uh, what do you get from that uh, term? So self-centered, who wants to, you know, uh, express or can explain us what you understand about self-centered? It's a person egocentric. Other concept is uh, they are only interested in yourself and your own activities. I found t shirt that is an adjective and uh, the synonyms is egocentric, egoistic, egoist, self centered, self absorbed, self involved in your own interests or thoughts. Wow, so that could be um a little bit challenging to work with those self-centered people. And uh someone else, yeah, we you gave a very valuable information about the self-centered. Someone else would like to add us uh, something interesting about this. Now key term. Me t shirt. Uh, it's a single-minded focus on oneself and one's own needs desires, preference, and problems. Okay, I have a question. The self-entitled is similar to self-centered or it's a little bit different? What do you think? Um, are similar? Very similar. Mm -hmm. 
Very close. <laughs> yeah, because only mm -hmm. things in south. South. Oh. Yes. Oh, I was both, whatever. Both. Sorry. Yes. Tell me. Tell me. I think both concepts uh, makes a selfish person. Yeah, okay. So, well, Mirna said that this is an adjective, and by the way, it's an adjective because the adjectives describe people. So, also there are some positive and also negative adjectives, but perhaps we can also discuss about it. The question is. Do you think these kind of um, adjectives are important in a job, are important in a department? Or could be important or not? What do you think? Do you think self-centered could be important in a company? What do you think? Or not? My personal opinion, no, teacher, because self-centered, I understand that it's a neg in negative way because when you are egocentric, egoistic, or or the all of the synonym that self-centered uh, means, I think that is in negative way. And this is not to, and your job is not help because you, is 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 in negative way and your job is i think that is not good it's not the the best way that if you are a self-centered yeah that's correct and it, there is something that it's it doesn't match especially when we're talking about a department or a company because the teamwork is very important if you don't work in a team in teams perhaps the work we do is not going to be successful because we need to work each other as a team and at the same time, uh, discussing about that one, uh, when we talk about mm -hmm. this uh, self-center, they people preoccupy for themselves, for their own thoughts, but they don't focus about others. And also the feelings may not be attentive to the needs of the perspective of others. So if I'm good with what I do, it's okay. I don't care about others because I'm doing my job and I don't help others because they have to do their jobs. Perhaps this is a kind of thought people have, so that's why... It's very necessary to, um, you know, try to reach some goals, right? To reach some goals. And so that's why it's necessary to do that. Well, let's see the next one that is uh, uh, willfully ignorant. What do you find about this key term? I found it's the practice of avoiding and becoming well informed about something in order to make advantageous decisions. Uh, um, in these cases, people try to avoid knowing a particular piece of information that may affect their judgment and the reasoning that they have about a situation or circumstance. Just that. Um, okay, Jose. So, I mean, those uh, terms are like no so positive. <laughs> we, we know about that. So perhaps there are some things that we need to learn from that. Thank you so much. Someone else would like to add more details about the full, full, uh, willfully ignorant. Someone else? Other concept teacher. Yes. It's a decision in bad faith to avoid becoming informed about something so as to avoid having to make a suitable decision that such information might prompt. Thank you so much, um, Carlos. Yeah, you said a uh, decision in a bad faith, so it's something that is not clear is not good for others is not good for the person itself thank you someone else that would like to um you know add more details about uh, willfully ignorant someone else
yes maybe should i find that another uh, another uh, meaning because we fully ignorant refer to those who lack the information or facts because they refuse to acknowledge them ignorance is a matter of choice or of shoes or of shoes hmm. uh -huh, okay that is very interesting it's a person that maybe they should know but they don't care they don't care about something they they become ignorant because of a, per, a personal decision. That's why uh, some of you mentioned that it's a decision that a boy becoming informed about something. For example, you're like, you know what? There is something, there is a new training about these systems, uh, so you should come. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't because I'm doing some other things or I don't want to work with something. So you want to um, be ignorant because you don't want to learn that, because you don't want to focus about that, and that happens especially in some jobs. This, this key term is very important. They are ignorant because, I mean, not because they don't know, because they don't want to know. They don't want to be informed. They don't want to learn about that, something specifically. And that happens especially in jobs, in equipments, when there are different technologies that perhaps we don't want to um, you know, give a step up. I know some colleagues, I'm going to be honest with you, I know some colleagues that uh, with new changes, with new applications, new technology, new platforms, they don't want to go beyond, they don't want to give the step up and also learn. They said that they don't have time to learn this one, that they are very old for learning new things. And also they like to do things in a traditional way. They, they don't want to be attached or involved to technology. And that's what we call uh, willfully ignorant. They want to be ignorant because they want to, they don't want to learn. They don't want to be informed. That's what we call that the terms. And especially in a job, uh, willful, ignorant, it's not good. Because in the company or in our jobs, we had to be very will, uh, willing to learn. We had to be ready to learn, motivated to learn, and also accept challenges. For example, for the next year, I have different uh, challenges in my job. Uh, I'm, I'm dealing with, I'm working with some projects to, for the next year. It's going to be my decision to, to carry on those kind of things. But I, I, if I try, if I work so hard, if I get ready, if I'm, I'm informed, I will have better results about what I have in my mind to plan. So that's why we had to work with that. Okay. So after that one, we have learned the, the key terms. Don't forget this vocabulary because in a real job or in different topics, we will learn about that. Let's continue with the following exercise, but before we're going to watch a video about, you know, who are they? We're talking about millennials. So, but before I need to check the attendance list, if you allow me one moment, I'm just going to call your names and you say present, please. Let's see. Hey, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Eh, Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Eh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Um, José Bernardo López. Present, teacher. Eh, José Carlos Argueta. José Carlos. Um, uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Um, Jose Salvador. Uh, Joshua Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Okay, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Um, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present teacher. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Thanks. Um, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. 
a Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Ok. Salvador Pérez, el teacher. Excuse me. Salvador. Salvador. Ok. Sí. Okay, it says, that watch the following video called, Who Are They? I will say in English, who are they? And uh, listen carefully uh, and summarize the most important points about this video. So I want you to watch this video and check some valuable things. I will share by this mean, by this um, chat, the link. So I want you to, to listen. And then you will have a short time to Express your ideas and thoughts about millennials. Watch them, and you can tell me later what you understand about this part. Let's watch it.
Okay, that was a very interesting video. And I just want to know, um, what do you get from the video? So what was the video about? Who wants to, you know, participate actively um, according to what you saw? Yes, a volunteer. Mean teacher, can I try? Yes, thank you. In the video, they are talking about that the the millennium versus. Millennium there and between millennium they are uh, uh, reading about that people thinking about millennium I think that they are selfie lazy ignorant self and childish willfully and willfully willfully ignorant and but uh, at the end of the video they contrast that they are a person that uh, help. Uh, with technology, I think, and they are, they are uh, ambitions. They are person right, passionate, and they always looking for the next solution. They are universal. Uh, they want to make the the world a better place. Uh, they are compared that the people think, but they are. I think that they are. They they are show that with with the use of technology or the their jobs they are uh, they are person with uh, others opportunity and driving for another way that the the, the things that the person uh, the person thinking about them I think this is in my opinion thank you so much that was a very interesting you know part of that so to know about the the millennials, right? That we had to understand this generation. Also, they have good things like everybody. So we are not attached to be perfect. There are perhaps things that we need to improve, things we need to enhance, to change. We have a lot of things to, you know, to socialize. Well, we move on to the next exercise. One second. Just give me one moment, please. I need to share with you a kind of... A quiz. The question is, answer the following questions about millennials. How millennial are you? So I want you to take in a brief way, I will use the chat to share with you this link. The This is a kind of um, quiz that I want you to do it. It's called Millennials Are You the Generation? And I want you to do it, and then you will give me the results. So you will say, teacher, I think that I'm not millennial, or I have some characteristics about that. So I'll give you five minutes to do it. You can do it this quiz in less than two or three minutes, the most. So I want you to have access to this link and do this quiz. And then some of you will be called to share what was the result of this test. Let's do it. Um, can you see the link in this chat? Yes, teacher. Okay, thanks.
Okay, uh, are you ready? Yes? No yet, teacher. No yet, okay. In, and... in two minutes, in two minutes. Okay, that's cool. And Joshua and Atilio, are you ready? Or you're still learning the quiz? One moment, teacher. Okay, okay, don't worry about it. Okay, now ready? Uh, let's see, Emerson, uh, you finished the quiz? I'm missing two, teacher. I'm sorry? I'm missing two. Okay, okay, that's okay. Well, guys, I was checking that it was a very interesting quiz because we can know about, you know, the way how we act. There are different questions inside the you know, this quiz to make sure that we are millennials or not. And, and also at the end of the quiz, we can see the, the results. We submit and automatically we can see the, the possible answers about that. And um, because of the time, we won't, we won't have the opportunity to socialize the results. But at the beginning of the class tomorrow, we're going to talk a little bit about that. And we will um, talk related to this one, okay? So I think it's uh, that is all for today. Don't forget to work in the exercises corresponding to this day. 
Also to make sure that all of you have completed the midterm evaluation corresponding to the last, well, the last week we could say, and you have a complete exercises. I congratulate most of you because the first week you completed everything. The second week you did it too, the third week too. That is actually, we are working on the week number four. And I hope to see all the exercises done and with good score because I saw that most of you have a good score in that, okay? So we will continue tomorrow. We will take a short time to socialize the results of the quiz that you have already made or you have already done, I'm sorry. And then we will talk about that and we'll talk about millennials, right? Uh, do you have any questions or doubt or any comment before leaving? No? No. For the moment, no. not teaching. Not teaching. Thank you. All right, that's okay, guys. Thank you so much. And have a beautiful night to all of you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Night, have a good night. You too, you too guys. Tomorrow. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night, you too. Thank, Thank you. you, too. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Take care.